Hey, what's going on you crazy kitty cats? It's Elder here. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to remind everyone that you can still use the discount code ELDER at checkout for 15% off of your purchase for 3 more days. Be sure to head over and check out the store. With that out of the way, let's get right into today's video, 5 of the creepiest deep web websites explored. Now, in my time surfing the deep web, it's not quite as bad as it can be portrayed, but there are certain websites that I came across that, honestly, have no good explanation, and on face value, are incredibly disturbing. I've seen many creators either sensationalize the deep web, and in some cases do exactly the opposite. I will say it's still an incredibly rough place to go. I cannot stress to you how dangerous browsing the deep web can be, with improper browsing habits, and more importantly, how illegal it can be with incorrect browsing habits. If you do plan to explore some of these sites, be extremely careful. With all that said, I took a deep dive into five of the creepiest websites I came across to try and get answers on what could be going on, and more importantly, their purpose. With that said, I'm going to hand it off to my friend Mortis Media to talk about the first website we came across. The first website is known as Parasite. At first glance, it is just an incredibly long web page, with a lot of unintelligible gibberish and disturbing imagery on it. And when you start to do a deeper dive into it, it doesn't get any better. In fact, this infamous website is a very large compilation of information about how to resist the government, giving access to things like hacking tools, and guides on how to make various objects. What's even more, is that they seem to have an incredibly unclear convoluted mission statement that is almost as scary as the guides contained within the site. Now, it's incredibly obvious why a site like this is relegated to the deep web rather than being on the clear net. However, that doesn't answer who could be behind the website, and maybe more importantly, what they could be planning, if anything. It seems to be harmless, aside from the incredibly disturbing guides contained within. But as with all the web pages on this list, proceed with caution. The second website, or rather, set of websites that I've come across on my time in the deep web, that never cease to give me chills, are the various red room websites shown across it. Now, as many of you know, many of these websites are proven to be quick cash grabs for people looking to access content like this. However, with the nature of the deep web, sites can come and go practically day to day, I don't think anybody could say with 100% certainty that something like this hasn't happened, at least at some point, and that's why just landing on a Red Room site never ceases to scare me, at least initially. It's more apparent why something like this would need to be on the deep web. It isn't an impossibility either. A man named Peter Scully committed several crimes involving torturing children on livestream, among other things. It's incredibly disturbing and is a great reminder that if you're at the right place at the right time on the deep web, you can see anything, which is maybe the scariest part about browsing it, just how unpredictable it is. The third website is Mankind's Habit. Mankind's Habit is a labyrinthian style website filled with various extremely complex video clips depicting just about anything you can think. Nothing explicitly illegal is on this website, and most likely is an art project. But with the highly distorted video, along with the shrieking audio of the clips within the site, it is incredibly disturbing and makes you wonder just what purpose it could have. The recording is honestly outstanding, almost to the point where it could be real. Why as a creator put something this well put together, and high quality, on the deep web? Why not put it on the regular web, where it would attract more eyes? It just doesn't make sense. And that's maybe what scares me most about mankind's habit. 
something just doesn't add up. Whatever the case may be, be extremely careful if you come across mankind's habit. It can be incredibly disturbing, and I don't recommend watching it for the faint of heart. The fourth website, and sadly one of the most used websites on this list, is a website called Sanctioned Suicide. Sanctioned Suicide is essentially a website that exists on the deep web for people not only to discuss suicide and various methods of it, but also make packs and give specifics on what methods that you should use. This is not only disturbing, but very sad, and it borders a very fine line of legality, which explains it being on the dark web. The site creators say that they exist on the dark web for freedom of telling people how to commit suicide case to case. This isn't as much of a mystery as something that exists that is just incredibly sad, and I would suggest staying away from the website as a whole. Not only is the entire purpose nearly illegal, but the people who actively post on the forums encourage it to newcomers, and generally, people on the deep web aren't the most savory group to interact with. If you do go check it out, be incredibly careful. The fifth website, or rather, set of websites that I came across on my time in the deep web, and possibly the most disturbing to me personally, are the prevalence of human trafficking websites and underground slave trade websites that are practically strewn all across the deep web. Now, that's not to say that I believe all of them are real, or even that most of them are real. However, with over 460,000 missing children's cases per year, it would be foolish to think that these traders don't utilize the internet in some form or another for their operations. And that's what's so terrifying to me personally, to know that the website that I'm on could be being used for the trading of children and illegal things. These are the most shocking to come across, and many times have less than normal pictures accompanying them, showing off who or what they have. It's absolutely terrifying to think that people can have so little empathy, but it shows you just how dangerous and utilized the deep web can be, and what's worse, the people there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go check out the video I did with Mortis Media as well, as we read through some of the creepier stories involving the deep web. I felt that I needed to do a video on it, as many creators either make the deep web seem like absolutely nothing and trivial, and filter out the incredibly dark stuff to keep an upbeat video, or they sensationalize it to some impossible supernatural point. If you do take the time to check out any of these sites, or find some for yourself, just be incredibly careful, and make sure that you have the proper protection before you delve into it. Let me know if you find anything cool in the comments section below. Again, thank you guys for watching, I had so much fun making this video. So many of you guys requested asking me about the deep web, I figured I would do some of the creepier, shorter websites that it has to offer. I have a really crazy website I found in preparation for this video, that, to say the least, needed its own video. It's honestly astounding, and I'm very excited for the upcoming video. Be sure to subscribe to Mortis Media. I hope everybody has a great week. Peace.